What's going on YouTube? Billy Rains here, coming to you with a news article from Transport Topics, TTNews.com, written to written for Transport Topics by Eric Miller. And today's article is going to be Federal Officials Plan to Add Fentanyl to Drug Test. Fentanyl drug regulators, and if you guys don't know, fentanyl is a highly potent synthetic opioid used as an analgesic together with other drugs. Fentanyl is used for anesthesia and can sometimes be combined with heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine. So that is what fentanyl is. Federal drug regulators could announce plans to add fentanyl to a drug testing panel that would detect use of the dangerous drug among safety-sensitive federal employees, ultimately including truck drivers, after adoption by the Department of Transportation. The intent to test for the deadly drug has been in planning stages since 2018, but is awaiting approval of a final rule by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services or HHS, as it's going to be used later in this article, authorizing oral fluid testing and proposed revisions to allow timely changes to drug testing panels. DOT currently tests truck drivers for drugs ranging from marijuana, cocaine, and methamphetamine to oxycodone, morphine, and ecstasy, but it doesn't test for fentanyl. No federal agencies are testing oral fluid specimens HHS said and then when it posted its oral fluid testing proposal, April 2022. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration Drug Testing Advisory Board reviews the direction, scope, balance, and emphasis on behalf of HHS's drug testing activities and the Drug Testing Laboratory Certification Program. The board has been discussing fentanyl issues since 2018. However, previously, federal drug czars said no to adding a test panel for fentanyl because it was being mixed with heroin, making it difficult to detect in other tests or in drug tests. Officials reasoned that users could be identified through testing for heroin. So basically, they didn't think they needed to test for fentanyl because fentanyl is in other drugs, and if you're testing positive for other drugs, then what's the need to test for fentanyl also? As far back as December 2019, Ron Flagel, chairman of the Drug Testing Advisory Board, said that the group had forwarded a recommendation to then HHS Secretary Alex Azar that the agency add fentanyl to the list of drugs federal and safety sensitive workers such as truck drivers may be tested for. The Drug Enforcement Administration already placed 10 fentanyl-related substances in Schedule 1 of the Controlled Substance Act, which lists dis distinct categories or schedules depending upon the drug's acceptable medical use and the drug's abuse or dependency potential. Illegal fentanyl use is growing rapidly, according to the DEA. In December 20th, in the December 20 release, the agency said in 2022 it seized more than 50.6 million fentanyl-laced fake prescription pills and more than 10,000 pounds of fentanyl powder. The DEA laboratory estimates that the seizures represent more than 379 million potential deadly doses of fentanyl. DEA's top operational priority is to defeat the two Mexican drug cartels that are primarily responsible for the fentanyl that is killing Americans today. Basically, fentanyl's bad. You shouldn't be doing fentanyl. They're going to start testing for it. Hopefully, you're not doing fentanyl because fentanyl, fentanyl can kill you, okay? Fentanyl's not good. Fentanyl's bad. Fentanyl's real bad. So, don't do fentanyl. Don't do drugs. Do the best you can, drivers. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.